Here you can find subsurface scattering buttons. The first one will bake the SSS material for the selected mesh. Uh, this one will set the selected light as an SSS light. And the way it works is that you select the light and press this button. And now this is a SSS light. And this, these lights will get ignored with uh, light baking, but when you're building SSS, it will also consider these lights. And the last one is for when you uh, change material of the object and you want to reassign SSS maps to that new material. Okay, so let's see how we can build subsurface scattering. Uh, each render engine has its own SSS material. And you should assign a subsurface material based on your SSS core. For example, in Turtle, you should use the BSS RDF shader. For Redshift, you can use Redshift material, Redshift skin, and Redshift subsurface scatter. For V-Ray, you can choose uh, very L surface, very fast SSS2, very MTL, and very MTL two sided. <coughs> and for Arnold, you use the AI standard surface. Uh, let's give it a try using Turtle. Uh, one of the things that really affect the speed of uh, subsurface baking in turtle is the shape of the mesh for example baking a complex mesh like this will take uh, so much longer than a simple shape like this so I'm going to assign our BSS RDF shader to this object uh, now all you need to do is press the build SSS button You can see how fast it was. After you uh, bake the subsurface maps, uh, it will create a new material for you, a new balloon material. And it also doesn't have a light map, so if you want uh, the lights, you should also reassign light map as well. And this is it. Now, if you want to select the uh, as original SSS material, you can select the mesh, right click on the on any of the SSS buttons and select SSS material. And it will select the BSS RDF shader for you. Now every time you select this mesh and build SSS, it will read it from this shader so you can modify it and uh, make BSS RDF shader again. And now let's give it a try on this dragon. And here is the result. You can also disable light mixer, but if light mixer is uh, disabled, it uh, the lights won't affect the. Uh, the light changes won't affect the SSS uh, anymore and if you accidentally press the assign light map uh, when light mixer is disabled all the other lights uh, may get deleted as well so make sure to disable it only if you don't want to use light mixer anywhere in your scene We can also give it a try using another engine like Arnold. And just pressing the build SSS. Uh, 
and we should reassign the light map and this is the result currently the diffuse color is also uh, affecting the mesh so if you don't want to have diffuse you can just set it to black and only have uh, the SFS color also another very uh, important thing is that if you want the light to affect the subsurface uh, the intensity should not be zero so I forgot to increase the intensity of this light and now if I enable it it won't have any effect on the uh, SSS material yeah, and now you don't need to use any of these cores for all of the all of your scene uh, you can just use for uh, turtle for one of two objects and Arnold for some other uh, same for redshift and weary and each one gives you a different quality and they are pretty much exactly the way they look uh, when you just render with Arnold, Vray or Redshift uh, some other example of this same model uh, this is a scene with Vray all surface and it also has a reflection applied of course but you can see how it looks like in V-Ray and this one is Redshift here I also have a green diffuse color Uh, rendering scene using light baking uh, may take a little bit longer than using a real-time render engine with dynamic lights but the quality actually worth it and it really matches the quality of your offline render engines so uh, to give you an idea of what I mean uh, we can render this scene Using my hardware and now I'm going to disable light map view and only render part of this model with V-Ray can see that it's exactly the same only a little bit uh, difference because of the light map resolution but it really is the same quality as your offline render engines and same things apply to the subsurface quality